Can somebody can somebody do a recap because I my memory is atrocious. <laughs> Same, I need it. <laughs> I think uh, I'm not sure. I think we killed No, we didn't kill. Uh he disappeared, the vendor we oh, tried to right. attack yeah, we, him. We had yeah. Icky and her paladin instincts to get rid of <laughs> an evil. Or a perceived evil. After, I mean, that, that's that's valid after the, the blood contract being signed over a firstborn child. But yeah, <laughs> that's that's a very understandable <laughs> reaction, even though it's you defended it as a simple business transaction. <laughs> <laughs> Against Icky's perception of it being evil. Uh, but yeah, he vanished into the floorboards and Trix got drunk, passed out on the floor, and we gave a dog a bath. Yep, yeah. yep, we gave a dog a bath. The the dog bath is the most important part of the entire session yesterday, by the way. Just so it everybody knows. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, now with uh, Trix officially awakened with the alcohol passing well actually no it's, she's not she's not awake but like she's just like that that tipsy conscious after passing out for a couple hours you know where you're like still what's happening i just want to go back to sleep kind of kind of alertness and then um two people i think it was oh well i think it was basically everybody else was in the in sophia's house uh, yeah. Just kind of enjoying some some alcohol and talking. And I think basically everybody else was fine. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those mini grinities. <laughs> 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 oh no, they're so cute. <laughs> You have to zoom in to see them. <laughs> I don't know who made... Well, I know who made them smaller, but I want them to be not as small. You want them to be smaller? I got you. No! <laughs> Just slight... slight no! Oh my God. <laughs> I can't see them. How does I one... Wait, I think I can. I can kind of see them. Oh. Yeah. There. Okay. Baby you know what? No. Oh no. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Stop! <laughs> They're taking over. No! <laughs> oh, that's okay. Can we adapt one? <laughs> Two? Or maybe more? <laughs> Look, it's a colony. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, right. I wanna me I want I want them to be bigger. No <laughs> Stop controlling them. No No Yay. Boop. <laughs> Oh. Back Sad. <laughs> All right. There we go. That was a good way to start our session today. <laughs> <laughs> People screaming, no! <laughs> Well, alrighty then. No, there is just one Gridani. He's just sitting right. on top of Found the house. Gridani. All right. So, with the rest of the afternoon still ahead of you, the morning spent bathing a dog, attempting to murder a shopkeeper. <laughs> and um, 
drinking to the point of passing out face down on the floor. That was in the morning? Mm hmm. It was huh? like midday. Ah. Uh, by that point. Okay. Like, it was like one in the afternoon by that point. After waking up at like seven or eight and doing all that other stuff. But yeah, it's about two ish in the afternoon now. And, uh,. You guys still have whatever time you want to do. Whatever things you want to do for the day. I'm gonna wait until, uh, spend my time waiting until, like, um, they, like, essentially wake up and are not really drunk. Um, mm. Like, just kind of contemplating on my actions and thinking, maybe I just jumped the gun a little bit too soon <laughs> and should have waited to find out more information about it. That's alright. You're, um... You s still feel energy rushing through you from <laughs> your your uh, paladin's oath. So, you, you... Whoever your deity is sees it the same way you did. So, you're alright. Okay. Good, because, like, uh, he knows in, the, in his religion that, like, they've, in his previous religion, that they've actually, like, lied to him about things before, so, like, he might have been, like, wrong about the whole entire undead or all evil thing. <clears throat> well, okay, so. Yeah. True, but. So. Evil and. Neutral are different. Yeah. Oh. Wait, the thing of detected undead, right? Okay, yeah. Cause was... No, you did, uh, I think it was Divine Sense? Or something like that? Some type of, like... Oh, yeah, was, protection was, against um, good and evil. It was Divine Sense, which detects um, whether or not a... It didn't... It, I don't think it said anything about um, evil things. It just said whether or not it was a fiend, undead, or a fiend, fair, or undead. Yeah, fiend, fair, or undead. Yeah, so it doesn't tell me their alignment. Right. Necessarily. Yeah. Put that all the way to the end. Just organizing my three tabs, my D and D Beyond Roll Twenty and music curations. <laughs> all right. So uh, I guess you guys wait for another few hours for people to not be like dazed with the effects of their alcohol slumber. Random, yeah. random, nobody specific. You know, obviously, definitely not just <laughs> Willow. Um, <laughs> yeah, about. exactly. Uh, but you are able to do stuff, Willow. You're just still... Loud noises are bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I guess you guys can wait a couple hours unless you wanted to do something until then, besides just talking, playing card games, and waiting for Will Willow to sober up. If you guys wanted to do something specific <laughs> while you're waiting for her, then we can do that. Otherwise, we'll skip ahead in two hours to like four in the afternoon, and then you guys can do my there. feathers. All right. Gonna do what I said previously and clean my feathers, <laughs> too. Okay. All right, so you, you take care of your feathers, and everybody else just kind of meanders about Sophia's home. In the meantime, <laughs> um, and at the end, Sophia mentions that she's going to stay here for a little bit, just kind of recover and take care of herself and have some have some her time to do what she needs to. Um, but that, that you guys are welcome into her home, any point. Just oh, make sure that you guys inform her that it's you before just barging in. You know, basic, basic home etiquette, like, give a little heads up. 
Reasonable, reasonable. Um, what quests do we have left? That's a good question. I, as the DM, have no clue. <laughs> I think it's uh, going, um, following the parade to the edge of the town, and yeah. um, I think you guys did that already. Mm, Don't you have? We, we uh, followed it to the edge of the town. We didn't because, because it was too so? far out. What was that, Willow? I said I taught you write notes, wrote notes. Me? Yeah. It's uh, still have not. The, yeah, the quest log hasn't been updated since like July. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like, fixed. Been, how long have we been in this campaign? <laughs> um, four months. Damn. It feels like such little time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're about time to have to. Yeah, very, very. We've true. still have not done the crying woman. We still haven't found no, that. No, the, the crying woman happens. was the crying woman was the woman who's now with the priest. Yeah, I know, but we still haven't found her daughter who's oh, missing, yeah, yeah, and we still right. haven't found out about. Yeah, but I, have not but found I don't those, think there are also the and there's also those children who like suddenly disappeared. Yeah, 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 yeah. But those are not those aren't quests that the tavern provides. Th- that would just be things that we would like to do. Oh yeah, we should co- then we should collect um or at least you and Arrow should collect money for the crying woman because technically you did solve that problem. I think we already did. Yeah, I think we already did. the The only thing that we didn't uh, get our money for was the parade thing. Though I don't, though I don't know if we finished that. Oh. We yeah, we took it. We followed it to the edge of town, but we didn't want to the, uh, go yeah, yeah. several days out. We didn't the want to go thing... several days out of town. Oh, the things would be the only thing left would be escorting the burgomaster's daughter and chatting up some of the occasional tavern guests. Though I don't know why they would give us money for that. I mean, I think chatting no, that, up that the was, That was me as a DM saying, suggesting yeah, something yeah, yeah. that you could do. That wasn't a, a bulletin board. No. So so we w- wouldn't get money? Correct. Maybe I should check more for, like, for more, like, um, if there's any more quests that have been posted since we've been here. Leave ads, like, posters advertising that we take missions. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also don't know what that guy was doing. So, from what I have here, <clears throat> I think that the things that we have left are that. Oops. Or that. Like, the crying woman would just be finding her daughter. Right. And, okay. and we also wanted to check out, like, what was that about the that couple's son that that was killed or just okay, let me died? Add let me add that so you can yeah, yeah. track it. Uh, the gay couple's son? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, let me see. Going to the invite link, yeah, the first time that we played was about four months ago. Good stuff. We could also um, clean the house we are inhabiting. True. That's that's chores, not quests. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah, only things we. Yeah, I was just saying things we could do. Yeah. I mean, we could stand on the street corner and tap dance for coins, but I don't think that would be either very we fun. Could. Or oh, that's <laughs> fun. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we then can tap dance, but. It'd be fun uh, to try. You, there are no limitations to what you really do in this game besides basic it's physics. True. 
Like, the, just anything that's... The only restriction is the law of physics. And even then, <laughs> those are easily bended with high enough levels of uh, magical pr proficiency. We could also steal from a house. Sure. <laughs> you guys wanna do that? Con considering how hard it, it would, it's gonna be to get out of this town, so, I would recommend that we don't burn our bridges. As a reminder, it's not gonna be a two-month journey anymore. In-game, whoever told you that was lying to you. As, oh, a, okay. as, a, as, a, as, a, as a player, uh, I'm changing it as a DM. Okay. <laughs> I'd like maybe skip over the time or like do what we did previously. Like the oh wait, no wait, did stage. did we wait? No, we did actually want to. We did want to keep it that way though, right? Because I was just gonna make it e e like. I think it's better if the world is large, because that means that it encourages the use of like fly spells and finding other ways to get from one place to another. It's gonna do like okay. the last thing that we did, like when we did the whole entire over the weeks to get to this town. How about this? In, in roll 20, I'm gonna make a little box here, a little pink box, and we'll just vote inside of it. And what are we voting on? Um, no, what, are we, what are we doing? We're, we're just trying to figure out whether you guys want it to be a long or a short journey for the most, like the way it's supposed to be, or like, which is short. Like one of those things is supposed to be a quarter of an, like a half hour. One tile is supposed to be a half hour of travel, according to the book, which seems way too quick to me because you could just walk back and forth whenever you wanted to. This area is supposed to be large. Wait, so you're saying it would take a whole day to walk across town? Or are you looking at a different map than we are? No, no, you're, I'm looking at the same map you are, but I'm, I'm just trying to figure out overworld travel. I don't know, I think we're gonna keep it hard. It's good. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll be, I think it'll be good that way. I'm gonna try and throw in more encounters, not, so just, not always combat, just things that happen on the journey. Yeah. So that'll basically be chapter two of the campaign. Once you guys leave the town. So you guys make sure you stocked up and stuff like that before you leave. And then it turns into resource management and travel. And then you'll arrive at the city. And that way, arriving at the city feels like an accomplishment. You know, that doesn't feel like we just walked there in a, a day and a half. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Anyways, yes, we are here. I was just trying to figure out stuff. So, so the way we as players and care, like... Players and DM want to work this out, so we have fun as a group. If travel is not something that you guys really see as fun, I don't want to drag you guys through travel. That's all I'm trying to just say. Got it. Okay. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. It's it's not. I don't want to just be like have the same thing be repetitive. So I'll just try and come up with combat and non-combat encounters that happen along the trail. So there's a variety. Anyways, okay. we're back in, back in the Barovian town, uh. and we have our updated quest log here. Um, those three... The escorting the Burgomaster's daughter to the town of Valiki. Um, checking up on trying to find the... A more of a side quest is... Crying Woman's and the Couple's Son. The, and also the two, we the did missing break children. off. And we also, also did find a basement in the shopkeeper's like thing, so we could also check that out. True. Yes. Okay then. So. It's what are we doing? <laughs> Um, so we have an escort quest, and then two missing children. 
um, and some good old breaking and entering. Yeah. <laughs> where where should we start? Uh, I think we could. I mean, we went to the we went to the cemetery, and also mm-hmm. we kind of saw the like. Uh, the dates in which there were a lot of dead people, but we never followed up on that. So maybe we could do something about that. True. Maybe ask some people around town. Might know something. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. And also, my cats are yelling at me, so I'll be right back. Aw, kitties. Hello, infantile. <sighs> Keep on, friend. Uh, yay, kittens. Um, so, do we want to break into the shopkeeper? Break into the uh, undead shop? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I, I would like that. Alright. You have, like, the rope and stuff. Yeah, we do have... We do have rope and lanterns and... Shovels and whatnot. Let's see. Alright, as you guys head out, um... Sophia reminds you she's going to stay behind. And um, you guys go on your way and head out. And uh, you guys arrive at the other place and at at the undead person's shop. And you guys get to... The, the front door there, and it's it's still open the way you guys left it. Okay. Wait, wait. Suggestion. How about we burn it down? Why? Why not? Okay. There might be useful things left in it. All those okay, useful how about things. we search? So this place, as you, as you come to the open door... You see that there's empty shelves. There's there's nothing left in the shop. It's all dissipated into smoke when you guys left the first time. Remember all the smoke went below the basement, so that may be where all the where all of his like stuff went. So to re-clarify, there was no smoke. It was just black. Okay. And it, remember, it looks like you are rubbing your eyes. And all the, like, kind of shifting colorations and stuff. Yep. Um. Alright. So, uh. What do we see around the outside of the building? There's Uh, just the one door? Why don't you... Oh, yeah. For doors, yeah. There's just the one front door. Uh. How about windows? Is there, like, an outer door that leads to a basement or anything? Mm-mm. Nope. It's, it's just the 
front door and like two windows on the sides. Like one on okay. each side of it. None on the back. Are there any basement windows that are above ground? Um, no? Spend, spending a few minutes, no, you, don't, you look around, you don't find any basement windows. All right. So I guess we go in and start searching. All right. So as you do enter, um, I, I'll reiterate again, just in case there, there is nothing on the shelves. Um, it right. looks pretty clean. I mean, you can see the dust of where some of the older things have been there for a while when you're looking at the shelves and around, but there's like, other than that, it still seems clean, you know, clean ish, good enough, right? Like there's not. Like, if you were to rub your finger across, there'd be dust spots, but there's nothing like big, messy stains anywhere or anything like that. Um, are there any marks on the floor where it looks like a wall might have been moved or the floorboards might have been lifted? Uh, why don't you roll me an investigation check at this point? Sure. Uh, no, actually, it looks like it's... I mean, there's little cracks here and there, but not, like, large cracks. Nothing you could stick your hand in and pull anything out. It's very much right. just little, like, natural wood cracks in an old kind of run-down between middle-class and slum-level buildings, right? Like, there's going to be cracks in the floor and stuff. But other than that, no, there's no, like, walls or doors that'll move. Yep, that's what we're looking for, yes. So, there there are none of those. Mm -hmm. the large hole that I made in the ground? Yes. There's the large hole over here still. Behind the counter. Okay. Alright. A hole Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... What I, do I... There you go. I There's am jumping on the floor. Okay. The floor is wood, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm jumping on it. Okay. Trying to do something. Sure. Um, Not sure what. Why don't you roll me an athletics check? Yes! Proficiency. Fuck. <laughs> um, you uh, actually oh. land somewhere and one of the wood tiles kind of gives way and you trip and fall into the ground. Hmm. Like, it, it just kind but of like the, least, the, wood, but... the wood planks... The wood plank kind of slides, and then below it is dirt. <laughs> but at least I did something. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> at least you tripped, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, are there any... I have a shovel. Are there any cracks between floorboards? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Enough for me to fit the shovel in? Gridani and Icky managed to make a hole in the floor without wood. I see. I straight see into like, the ground. It's on the top like, right up um, here. Air. Yeah, but we didn't have a shovel, so we didn't get too far. But since oh, we have a shovel, shovel now... So wait, so it's just I'm, dirt? I'm gonna there, there is no... I'm gonna gesture them towards the hole. So everywhere that you guys have done so out here, mm -hmm. there is just dirt below it. Okay. And then Icky gestures you to you guys to like, hey, come over here. Okay. So I guess we start digging here or look into the hole. I so have a, a what do you call it? A lantern. Okay, so you're gonna dip the lantern into the hole. Yes, I'm going to. Okay. 
hold the lantern. So before you dip that in there, I'm going to remind, I I don't know if you were here before, but it, as you're looking down at this darkness, it, it does reiterate that rubbing your eyes kind of feel, but like, there's a layer, like an obvious line where the darkness starts and where it ends. Right okay. at the level of where, right beneath the floorboards. So when I dip the lantern in, can I just like not see the lantern? Like I'm as dipping it in the, the pool yeah, of as, ink or something? Exactly. That's a very well way to have described it. Yes. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. Okay. Um. I am going to take one of the pieces of wood that we dug up. I'm okay. going to tie tie my rope around it. Sure. And I'm going to lower that piece of wood down into the hole. Okay. Uh, to see how deep it is. Okay. Um. It, are you using your rope there? Yes. Yes, I am. It goes the entire length of your rope. That is 50 feet. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it still doesn't, like, feel like anything has hit the end there. All right. Cool, cool. Um. Well, I guess. All right, now I'm, I'm going to pull it back up. Sure. Um, how big, how big is, the, is the hole? You don't know. Nobody's looked in. Like it, there's a layer of darkness. It kind of is looks like a pool of ink, as uh, Kendall described it, on top. So there's an obvious line. It's dark here, but you can. It's dark, but you can like also kind of see through it at the same time. Like, can we just jump in it? Or? You could. You can see what happens. Well, uh, first I'm going to see what happens when I pull the the stick back up out of the hole. Uh, it looks like the stick that you threw in there. Okay. Alright. So, I suppose the next step might be talking tricks, or or talking Willow into jumping down there. (laughs) (laughs) Or we could ask... I will do it. I will do it. I want to do it. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. But wait, we forgot that Icky can fly. Oh, hey, yeah, that's a good... There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead and fly down there. And see what... <laughs> I should have said that. I wanted to jump yeah. in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, it's the only problem is I don't have a torch, so I and I don't have dark vision, so I can't oh, see. Oh, there. there. You can borrow my lantern. Okay. Which is also completely fine, just like the stick you put down there. Okay. But... Okay, so I'm gonna take the um, uh, lantern and like, see how big is the hole? Um, probably like four-ish feet wide now and like three-ish feet long. So you'd have to okay. hop down okay. there like a coin in a coin slot, but you should be able to fit. You know, just yeah. You have like, to fit I, a specific I... way to go down there, but you'll be able to get in there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna probably like um. I'm going to get the lantern thing and I'm just going to like kind of squeeze my way like backwards into the hole. Backwards as in like your legs first? Yeah, legs first and like... Okay. Er. It feels, as you put your legs in there, it feels kind of cold. Not like anything super weird. It just... A little colder than you would have originally expected. And then you put the rest of your body in there? Uh, yeah. And then okay. I'm going to, um... Do you wanna I'm putting the rest of my body in there, and I'm gonna, like, kind of just get down there enough so that my wings can fit, and then I'm going to, like, un- like drop down and, like, start flying. Sure. Alright, and as you do that, her her head, like, it's slow... Uh, her body dissipates into the, quote, pool of ink. And... As you drop down into there, um, you can still hear me, right? Yeah, I can still hear you. 
as you just drop down in there, um, I'm going to send you a message here to give you an idea of what you see. But it suddenly looks like you're in outer space. Whoa. This is what your it's loading right now, but this is what your you immediately see around you. Uh, it's three fourths of the way as as you enter there. Okay. You see like many light years of just space. Okay. I, uh, I'm just, and can I make like, like an, you, you start to wonder, wait, am I going to run out of air and you hold your breath and then you eventually, well, actually, sorry, we'll not get there, but what's, what's, what's up? Uh, you just gonna... see like a little rift above your head. A rift? Like a little kind of a black certain hole ink ink where yeah where that thing was oh okay okay so i'm probably i'm not gonna go too far obviously from that but can mm-hmm. i just do like an arcana but ch- obviously this is magic of some sort but mm-hmm. can i see if i know like what type of it is or something mm-hmm. or like sure why don't you roll me an arcana first and then if that goes well we'll get, i'll give you another one okay Um, Dang it. <laughs> you definitely transported somewhere. It's definitely magic. You don't Can I still it? So what kind? Go ahead. Okay, so can I still, like, breathe and stuff, and stuff like that? Or am I, yeah, is it, like, zero actually, gravity? You, it's zero gravity, and you can still breathe. Okay. Like, you get... You drop down there, and you're just slowly... Falling at like bare, barely anything as because you didn't jump down there, you lowered yourself in. You're basically yeah because I couldn't oh the hole right now yeah I really couldn't jump down there because like I because that would not have been a smart idea. <laughs> it's Probably. the same. It's the same movement as if you were going through space. The same momentum principles. So if you had jumped down there, you'd be rocking it, rocketing away from the. So, I'm probably knowing that I'm going to like, I'm just gonna like try and move back towards where I came, sure. towards the rift. I mean, you're only like five, ten-ish feet away from there because you lowered yourself and you didn't, and you had your wings out, so you were able to kind of like propel yourself. Even though there's no air, there's still, like, some ways. And as you actually start to move, you move more easily than you expected back towards the hole. Okay. Are you getting getting back out? Yeah, I'm getting back out. Okay. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's... Did you, did you guys have fun? Mm-hmm. Yes. It, um, it's... And, and I just say, it's a rift. It's a what? It's like a te- it teleports... It teleports you somewhere else. And I don't know where it is. It's like... It looks like the sky. <laughs> like, but, but it's all around you and stuff like that. Oh, wait, wait, so, wait, so you went into the hole and, 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 uh, it looks and, like the night, yeah, and it, it looked like, it looked like, um, the night sky. I, wait, so you, I, I felt absolutely weightless. Wait, no, so you, it? you went into the hole and flew back out to us. Yes. Yeah, 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 okay, Dude, got, a, got a bit confused for a second. Yes, it is. Okay, out of characters, I'm describing, trying to describe outer space, but like, (laughs) yes, it was really, (laughs) yes. I think we should all jump in together. (laughs) How, how, how far is, is there a ground at any point underneath there? 
No, but there's like millions of like places and everywhere, and I couldn't see where like any of the thing was. I, but I, but when I like when I was like floating away, I just knew that I had to like come back to you guys. Maybe we could get like a rope or something. Yeah. Oh, we we do have rope. Like five hundred feet of it. Icky, could I, I also get you? To, here, I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, could I get you to roll um, a d hundred as well? A d hundred. It says okay. Okay. Yeah. It's it, even though it wasn't like terrifying, it was just such a vast open space that it could have been something that was like so vast and terrifying that you felt like you needed to go back. Just how large of an open space it was with nothing around. There could there could have been some minor mental repercussions that we weren't expecting, that's all. But that yeah. makes sense. You, you guys can follow, follow uh, use, you could use Icky's information however you would like to. So, um... I vote I... Yeah. Icky, how much can you carry when you fly? As I said, I felt absolutely weightless over there. So, but, um, I can, um... I can... It doesn't really say how much I can carry. It does. I just, I, I just know that I can't wear medium or it heavy armor. It does tell you where. I, 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 we have to <laughs> find it. I think it's under equipment. Uh, equipment. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to equipment, it'll say on the top leftish area, weight carried. You click on weight carried, and on the top, on that little pop out, it'll say carrying capacity 150 pounds. Pull, 150 trash, pounds. or lift with like a short amount of exertion is about 300. Okay. Okay. Um, or we could do we could try the ropes, so we could maintain uh, a connection to. Yeah, the, we should definitely tie a rope to something out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what what is what is in this room that could that we could tie a rope to? Very uh, solid. Why don't you roll me an investigation check? Woo! Minus one. Ah. Not bad. Um, there's like little portions of the counter that actually have some like hooks and stuff on them, but you could also probably tie it around like the little, um, like a portion of. Like you guys can actually carve out a hole inside the bar. And then use that and cart like wrap it around the counter, so you have a solid knot there. Sounds like, good. Like Sounds you can like a tear plan. Tear down, tear down part of this counter right here, and then make a little loop around it, so you have a, a anchor point. So you guys spend a, a, a cut like a couple minutes, and um, you guys have a pretty pretty decent well tied off probably like you lose 15 feet of of well probably 10 feet of rope there so like make sure it's actually a really secure knot uh so you have 40 feet once it reaches the hole uh well i have 50 feet of rope does anyone else have any rope yeah you guys can all yes yeah pile it together i yeah, we have can... wait let me find it i'm sure i have so, yeah, I have 50 feet. Cool, so... 100 feet. 
No, yeah, you do. You have like two feet. Ha ha ha. Unless you're a millipede. Um, okay, yeah, so we'll tie all the ropes together. Uh, so far we have two ropes, so that's like 90 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, seems like a good, good place to start. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, uh, I am climbing down into the hole. Alright. Boop. For the sake of it, I'm just gonna kind of put you over here somewhere. Okay. As you disappear into the hole. Got it. By, by Sophia's house down there, so you can move your token around if you wanted to. Um, <laughs> but Eros disappears down into the hole, lowering themselves using the rope. Is anybody else following or no? Because uh, if other people who, are following, I'll describe it all at the same time instead of multiple times. Uh, who went in? Eros. Okay, I'll go in. Okay. We <laughs> make sure to hang on to the rope, though. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm hanging on to the rope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the... I have to make sure I'm hanging on to the rope. Willow, are you going to? Yeah, of course. Whoop. And I'm gonna go in last, okay. and then just do it the same way that I did it last time. So if you guys look at campaign chat, I'll give you the exact image that I used with Nikki here. If I can get it to load. It'll take a, a couple seconds because it's a 15 megabyte picture. It's, it's pretty decently uh, large, but you drop down inside this hole and you appear here. If you open original, Exist ex existential crisis inducing. Yes. For real, I man. Like, I would like everybody to roll a sanity check. Yeah. Beautiful. So, that's a D hundred, right? Mm-hmm. You have to get yeah, below I'm the. Good. You have to get below the number on your. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. But if you open that up in original, it gets even larger. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. And uh, then, Icky, you already did yours. Oops. Um, but Big B, with advantage. But B, as an escorted cart, gets a 49. <laughs> <laughs> B, you're still an escorted cart, just so you know. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it as campfire. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good to know that the, the cart's still sane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, as you guys all descend, dangling from this little box, you look around the box, and there's still just as much space above you and below you. Oh, wow. If you let go of the rope. Anyways. If we let go of the rope, Icky will save us. <laughs> I will try. I can't. It's actually zero gravity kind of type of thing. So technically, you can't. We can fly. It would not. It would not. It wouldn't be much help. <laughs> It'd be. Uh, it's you guys a it's feel just a lot more no pull than... of gravity. There is nothing like you are weightless. Everything you're carrying, just all that weight and gravity off your shoulders, just... What about the rope? How's that behaving? It's behaving like a, a wiggling snake. Yee! <laughs> just kind of swaying underneath the movement that was originally caused by you guys lowering yourself into it. Into that. Can hole. I try... Can I try... Getting upside down? Still, still hanging sure. onto the rope? Um... You're, you move your body around, and using the rope, you're able to change your position. Woo! <laughs> now I'm truly upside down. 
<laughs> Icky just kind of claps. <laughs> there you go. Well said. <laughs> That's pretty done right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, but less graceful. More. <laughs> More, more, more muscle. Like, more like it was not intentional to be tangled up like that. Yes. <laughs> All right. What happens at this point? As this just endless expanse is just before you in all directions. There you go. That's probably more accurate. <laughs> I'm so there's nothing that we can touch down here. I'm gonna vote that we go back. It's very pretty, but I don't think it's gonna be very useful. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he doesn't seem to be here. Wait, 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 let me try something. Uh, I will, uh. I have a, a piece of tethered armor. I will just throw it into the abyss. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> what What are you throwing away? A, a tattered piece of armor. All right. Yeah. I just want to see what it does. Like, does it just float? Does it go somewhere? Yeah. It um, floats. Exactly the direction you threw it. Yeah. And it doesn't seem to be stopping. And it just keeps going. Mm. And going. How about I scream? Okay. Will the noise carry? Is it? Is this like space? Your voice is actually sounds like you're whispering. Holy. Okay. Even but though, we can even, still even though you're screaming as loud as you can, it still sounds like you're whispering. Wait, how about how about I whisper? You, you, nobody hears. You don't even hear your own voice. Holy! Whew. All right. Anyone want to do something? I I vote that we get out. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Here. All right. You guys can climb your way back up. So you guys are back up outside the hole here in the order that you climbed down in. that you're back up inside this shop here. Um, yeah, what are you, what are you guys up to? Uh, I guess it's like, Huh? Vibing. Just vibing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fair to say that we've gotten everything out of this, uh, out of this building that we're likely to. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So, 
So should we go look for the um okay. Go back. Uh, so should we start looking for the um uh, I think you said the missing uh couple's son or daughter or something? Yeah, the two perhaps... missing missing adolescents or young adults. Yeah, yes, that. <laughs> sure, let's go do some door-to-door -door canvassing. Why not? Yeah, why not? Right. Oh, hang on. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Back to the, the house again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hey, Willow, just... Willow, I haven't heard from you in a little bit. You alright there? Willow? Oh, she's got- she's muted. Yeah, she's muted. I'm here, I'm here. Okay. I'm just uh, making sure you- I, I'm- I'm gonna go for today. I'm pretty tired. I just don't feel comfortable playing Willow right now, so... Okay. Why is that? Because I'm tired. I'm okay. <laughs> Alright. We'll talk to you later then. Okay. Bye. 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 She also told me that she's not planning on staying, so that might be the last we hear from her for a few weeks. But we'll see. Just with Danny and Alice leaving, she's like, I'm not really comfortable anymore. I don't know why that is. You guys are great the way you are, but I don't know what's going on. Everyone has their reasons for doing stuff, so. Yep. All right. So, I guess Willow's gonna kind of meander back into Sophia's house, feeling a little bit hungover again and pass out on the that, floor. That makes sense. <laughs> makes sense for Willow. Yeah. Yeah. If nothing, if nothing else, we can get, we could... <sighs> nothing. No, what's up? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about what, what would happen after, um, uh, Tricks maybe left what we what Willow could do or something, or sorry for Willow leaving or something. Oh, I mean, she we don't know for a fact she's actually gone gone yet. She might be oh, okay. back next week. She just had a lot of um, personal oh, stuff that wasn't super optimistic recently, so she's not feeling super energized at the moment. But you know that's that valid, sense. yeah. I'm not going to force people to say if they don't want to say. I just wanted to make sure that there's actually okay. So. Or at least good okay. enough that they will be okay. Alright, so. Will says, um. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go back. And I'm, just, I'm gonna. And that's, that's the end of it. That's what she says. And then she leaves. <laughs> And she looks like she's heading back to Sophia's house to pass out. Okay. So what are you three doing at this point? Uh, I think the plan was to go door to door looking for these missing kids. Well, we don't have any other idea of what we could do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, the Burgomaster's daughter. The escort quest. True. Uh, that's to the next town. True, but you could also stockpile supplies, try and make money to get more supplies. 
try and barter with people to get meat or food, go on a short hunting trip. Um, you could do, like, pillaging people's houses, since they thought of that, to try and see if you find anything. Wait, what, what do we want to do? <laughs> so do we want to maybe gather supplies, I guess? Or like, we could we could either search for the missing people. But how could we search for them? Um, well, there were, I know that the missing kids were last seen like over like here. What, oh yeah, would I actually know anything about like the missing kids or anything? Because like, I live like Right above that abandoned, like, house. Where? From when I lived here or something. Like, there was, like, this weird thing going around with the kids that they... Wait, what house they were suddenly, you living like, at? I was living above the, um... This one. Okay. Uh... I mean... Maybe you've heard about it once for, from the from the um, the missing son, but not nothing about the daughter. Okay. So I don't know anything about that, or you don't know anything about the daughter specifically, and you just know that the son went missing. Okay. Uh, and around the time frame that he went missing, but other than that, nothing about the daughter or the the time correlation. I know it's a little bit slow, but I hope everyone is still doing all right. Yeah, like I wish we had a little bit more structure. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like like that's, hints that's about the... hints about what hints about like what might be useful to do because I feel like we're just kind of wandering around aimlessly at this um, point. Um, I can give you DM stuff, but it's it's supposed to be open-ended and kind of vague for the most part but i can give you if you want just me to help you figure out as a dm what direction you guys should go or not yeah, should, but okay or not where we should go but like where you can where we could go a, a bit more specific okay what let's let's see you guys actually haven't met the woman that you would be escorting yet oh uh. There's that. Okay. There's you could go see the um, the innkeepers about where she is. You could go check on the matchmaking couple. You could um, clean out the place that you have now. But even though that seems like you're probably moving towards the plan of moving out of here, so because you kind of drained this place of resources after the, over the past three months, you know. Um, like, like, quest resources. Um, okay. So, you, you guys, as, the reason why it feels like there's nothing to do here is because there basically is nothing to do here. You guys have figured out over 80% of all the side quests to do in this area. So that's why it feels like there's nothing to do anymore. Uh, but yes, if you were to try and figure Wait. out where the person you're supposed to escort is. Uh, I think Issy left the call. 
I have my. Oh, there we go. They're back. Okay. You right there, Izzy? Yeah. It was okay. um my thing was not uh my something was going on with like my like um Discord on my phone. Yeah, no worries. No problem. Yeah. But yes, to reiterate, you could go try and meet her. You could um, go scavenging for food, hunting, like outside of town. You can try and track down some things and have a little combat encounter trying to get some food for the trip. Uh, you could go back to the stable and see if there's any way that you can get some form of larger transportation. You can get rumors about what kind of larger animals there are to actually use for transportation because it seems like the stable only really had like sheep maybe a horse yeah. to like actually work with um but it seems like going outside of town to try and track something down some some kind of like some some something to move towards the next area okay uh i vote that we meet the burgomaster's daughter and try to get a little bit of a description about what that quest is um because sure. we need to know kind of how sense. long the trip is so that we can figure out what we need to bring okay. yeah and then we can get supplies and stuff yes all right so for that you okay. saw that that post thing <laughs> in the um in the tavern okay I guess yeah, let's make it Ooh, back to our to our origins. There you go. So yeah, you guys meander your ways up to the um the tavern. V, can I get you to roll perception check? With this advantage? What do we do? <laughs> Can, can I get Gritty to roll Perception with disadvantage? All of us? Just you. Ah. <laughs> Not sure why, but fine. Oh, god fuck. Alright, so we go to the tavern. Nah. <laughs> and, uh... You guys are all... Let me just... Bam for you guys inside that building up there. And um, you see Eric and Kida in there. Uh, there's no, no. Actually, there's there's a couple people that look like they're just chatting and having a conversation and some food, like a group of three or four adults. Three three adults over there, two women and a guy. Uh, and then Eric and Kida. In the seven. <laughs> All right. So, what are we doing? <laughs> we're, we're in the tavern. Um, yeah. Yes. Understanding the uh, person who does the quest is Kira, right? Mm-hmm. She wasn't the one who posted it, but, they, 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 but they, she's the one who gives it to them, so she would most likely have the most information. The what? Yeah, Kid is the one who's basically like the quest manager, the uh, bulletin board manager. Cause, hang on. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe she's having a bit of difficulty hearing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my my microphone keeps glitching. There we go. Sorry, what was that? Uh, <laughs> I was just saying how clear is the quest mask manager, so she has the information about who's the quests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hey. It's the table salesman. <laughs> That's just me. Yeah. Table salesman. Singular. Well, woman, but yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got me, Kira. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Speaking of which, yes. What's <laughs> do you have any need for five different, a five bottle spice rack with spices, um, or a bag of guano, or a varnished orb made from a Nothic eye? I don't know what a Nothic is, but neither do I. But I have an <laughs> eyeball. Okay. Um, refer to your tall red friend for what I feel about eyeballs. As for the spice rack, that might be something of interest just to me, as All right. a, a person who enjoys food, because spices are actually kind of rare at this point. So uh, Yeah, it's absolutely. Nice. There they like should a, be some nice good prime quality stuff. Um, what do you think about... She goes and counts through her own money, not the shop's money. Hey, she, okay. Because this is for her, it's not for the shop. She has morals like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can do, like, a gold, or sorry, two gold and, like, five silver? Because that's, that's good. It looks like it's really good stuff, to be honest. Yeah, no, two, two gold and five silver, I can definitely work with that. That's reasonable. Yay. She, like, All looks right. really happy to be able to have, like, black pepper and, like, base at this point. All right. Which to us is, like, 50 cents, but, you know, like, it's still nice. Yeah, man. Back in the olden day. Oh, yeah. Spices don't grow in this climate. No, they don't. It's, uh, it's speaking, stuff. speaking of agriculture... Bat guano is just about the best fertilizer uh, that exists. I have a bag of it. Who might be interested in that? Uh, maybe the stable? Because I know that they would, I mean, at least know people they could sell it to. Fair enough. That's Because they, they also use their own, like... Yeah, they as, sell fertilizer as, as well. Yeah, exactly. And then okay. they'll, they'll sell it to the people who have, like, gardens in their backyards in the higher-up places to fertilize their plants. Good plan, good plan. Yeah. Alright. Uh, was, was there any other things that you wanted or were hoping for? Um... Oh, 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 uh, rations. Rations, okay, okay. Yeah, how many carryable, how much carryable rations do you have? Uh, let me see here. I think I have... Hmm. I have... I'm actually doing math here. I have about... 34 days worth of rations here. Uh, and what do you charge for each of them? Man, I, I haven't really had somebody, like, actually try and talk about that. So let's see, I think there's, like, five silver for, for, like, a full day of food. Right. So, so one ration. Okay. Um. It's like dried sheep jerky and um, some stuff that hunters have brought back, like salted meat and stuff to like preserve it, okay. like dried out, sun dried fruit, fruit. Yeah. Um, like nuts and stuff like that that takes a while to go bad. Besides the meat, but even that uh, dried, it kind of dries out. Jer you know? Yeah. Jerky. That's that's what jerky is for. Okay. Um. Five silver seems high uh, for this town. Yeah, I mean, we can charge this because people going to other places probably want to have some way of at least having food. Sure. Oh, that's right. 
Um, how about how about five silver for two days worth? Since you guys okay. have helped, since you guys have helped me out on a lot of quests here. All right. Uh, so I'll give you fifteen silver for that would be six days. Yeah. Five times three divided by two. Mm-hmm. Six days. I mean, we still have 28. Does anybody have any? Um, I mean, I can't really do much besides, I can't really lower it much besides two and a half gold. Or sorry, two and a half silver. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so I've got six days worth here, how's everybody else? Uh, who else needs um, rations? We should all stock up on rations. <laughs> well, we'll hunt and fish where we can, but uh, I could buy some, I suppose. I have. Uh, how many did you buy? I have like uh, five. I I. I have six now. Wait, could you repeat? <laughs> my my sound got messed up for there. What, what did you say, Eros, to agree about five or six? Uh, I said I have six. Six is but, what I currently have in my pocket. Oh, then I'm good. I don't need to buy. Uh, okay. wait, wait, where are you guys planning on going if you're taking rations? Uh, we are escorting the Burgomaster's daughter somewhere. We don't um, really know where. I think that's... Uh, I, I believe she actually goes back and, like, checks the board here. And then, after checking the board, checks her notes that she has somewhere else because she doesn't just have all the, like, the job posting board information up there because bad people might, you know, try and Right. Use that information yeah. to do other things, but um, oh, okay, so you would be going to Valiki, which I believe was like two and a half months of travel. Ha, huh. there's like a windmill on, on the way, maybe you can get some like bread and food and lodging there, but like. Make like I don't know. It's it's kind of a lot, you know. It's a it's a, it's a long trip. What what's it paying? Because sixty days of rations—that's fifteen gold just for the just for the food. So it's she she's supposed to be like taking over a spot in the church over there and uh -huh. from from what i understand the church is actually pretty decently well off um as well as this like now let's be honest right like in comparison to here they're way better it's like a, a difference between lower and middle class like it's it's still not wow that's amazing but they definitely have a probably like their standard measure unit of measurement is gold not silver right so Sometimes even platinum if it's good enough, but I believe upon upon the de the the delivery to the church, um, it's supposed to be about two hundred and twenty gold, if I remember correctly. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Well, it's like tw 20, 20 platinum and twenty gold, but you know it's the same same difference. Factor of ten, but okay, yes. <laughs> I mean, isn't isn't a platinum one hundred gold? So it's two hundred and. I think a plat platinum is ten gold. Right, so it's two hundred gold and then twenty gold. So it'd still be two twenty. Yeah, okay. Math is hard. Yeah. I don't like it. 
220 gold. The pan is 220, so I'm gonna write that down. Okay. Uh, we should talk to her, see if we can get an advance to uh, pay for some of these rations. So, I am not the one paying this. Do I'm not the I'm, I just put up the the posting that they wanted. Right. Uh, can we? I how can't do we contact pay you up front? her? Uh, the how contact, do we contact her? already left oh. to the other town. Oh, is she coming back or? I with um. the with the the tri- the length of the trip. I don't I don't think she would be. So the quest is done, or no, the do we quest, just try to catch up with her? The, the quest no. giver has already left. Ahead but of time. He left ahead of time. <laughs> okay. He went ahead. Yeah, and then she's supposed to be coming later. Okay. Um, and he's cool. just like, um, uh, I, I could perhaps buy some of the rations. I have a lot of the shiny gold pieces. Sure, sure. Uh, Good, that yes. That would be nice. Okay, so how much do they, like, is it supposed to, like, so, cost again? So, um, four days is one gold. So four days is one gold? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay, so, um... So just tell me so, how much gold you want to put into it, and then multiply that number by four. And that's what we you okay. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'll... I'll do, like, um... I'll put down, like, uh... uh and the max she has so left is tw- 28 <laughs> rations left. I could... I'll put... She only has 20 left, okay. 28 left. 28, okay. Um, then I'm going to just do, I think... And you guys can um, also hunt something along the way, you know, and if you guys yeah. go fishing or catch something at the river, I, you guys yeah, can I'm just, stockpile. Yeah, I'm just trying to do the math in my head. Yeah, no worries. You can also just use a calculator because I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 4 times 7 is 28, so... Correct. Yeah, okay. So that would be 7 gold. Okay. Yeah. I'll just put some in gold on the table. Oh, oh, you're just gonna. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I gotcha. Have, <laughs> I have money. Well, uh, all right. yeah, by all means. That would, that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, and she, like, kind of takes a, a larger cloth, like, it looks not amazing, but it looks nice. And she wraps all the, like, little bundles of food. Ties it off at the top with what looks like a like a, a child's scarf that she just happened to have because that's what she could use to tie it off, and then she hands it to you. All right. Cool. Let's go find this woman. All right. Um. So, as since you most likely would say that in character, she's. The house all the way. If you go down this center road right here, and mm-hmm. just go down as, as far as you can, it's the, like, the largest house all the way at the bottom. Oh, okay, great. That's convenient. Yeah, I mean it's basically like the mayor's house who died off a while ago, so now it's just her daughter there. But, yeah. And by this point, I'd say it's like 5, 5-ish p.m. in the in the afternoon. So you should get five, uh, and then... so She's like right down here. Yeah, we should, we should go talk to her, and then if everything, if we can uh, make a plan, I guess uh, we should talk to her and maybe plan to leave in the morning. Sure. Um... I believe her name was Irina, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eating the... Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just dividing out, like, the food, the rations, to make sure everyone gets... tries to get an equal amount. Sure. Um, for the sake of it, let me see how much... 
gold Sophia has, and she'll travel with you, and she'll put the money that she has on her character sheet. Um, I'll divide it by four and put three fourths of it into. Just since she's not here, she doesn't really have a say. But like, huh. she she seems like the supportive character, so I'm sure she would be happy spending some of her food and money to make sure you guys are okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Just, I'm just, I just split it up and I was just saying, like, uh, so it's, uh, we would get five each uh, for everybody, like, including, um, Sophia and, um, Willow with three left over. And I'm pretty sure that that should go to Eros and Greed Donnie because they would most likely have the last, least amount of food. Oh, that's what the I mean, problem least was. amount of rations. The problem was they didn't have enough food anyway. So <laughs> they would, they ran out of food. But yeah. she would she would buy you guys like breakfast before you guys head out early in the morning. So you guys don't have okay. to spend She'd get you guys like two nice meals, so a brunch and a mix between dinner and lunch for the afternoon. Like hefty meals that we'd okay. talk her. So Lovely. So- Sophia will buy you food and then I think she'll go with you, but you know, for like player wise, she won't be doing much and I think I don't I don't know how to deal with that travel with Willow and Alice and Sophie, Will and Sophia at the moment. But I mean we can always figure that out another time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean Don't don't Willow worry about leaving people Willow behind. Did. DM magic, they're they're there with you. Like it doesn't really matter. I mean, well Willow did just see like there she goes. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, my my microphone um, keeps glitching, so I talk and and the green circle doesn't light up. You're right. Oh no. Hi, Aki. Are you there, Izzy? Izzy. Uh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. I was I was saying that since Willow, what after what happened in the house, I was saying that Willow could probably just be might be just grappling with that thing with the stuff that she saw in the house. True. I mean, I'm I'm sure we'll find some way for them yeah. to show up later in the thing. Well, I'll come up with something. Okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah don't yeah. worry about it. if you guys want to leave tomorrow. You guys can leave tomorrow. You know. Okay. Okay. Cool. Because I I don't want to slow you guys down because other people are dealing with their health. Right. Um. So yeah, Sophia will buy you guys food for the morning. Woo. Let me see what time it is. Wow, it's only been an hour and a half. It feels like it's a lot longer. Yeah. <laughs> Probably because we, we've we taken a lot of time to do anything. Yeah, that's alright. I mean... It's also, yeah, unexpected news about Alice and then unexpected news from... Willow wanting to leave. But, uh... Yeah, so we're, you guys have that those rations, and I believe you're heading down towards Arena's home? Yes. Okay. Um, so around this time, like, the, the sky is starting to get a bit darker, um, and it's an equivalent to a overcast sunset right now. So there's Ooh, the buildings are casting long shadows, reaching out to grab you as you're passing on the road. Uh, you can see down to the very bottom, and you like, are at this home down here. Yes, cats. Let's not knock over all of my food. What do you say? All right. <laughs> You little chaos ones, you. Cats love to knock things over. They're tiny agents of chaos. 
Yes. <laughs> Woo! I know. They're good. <laughs> I heard agents of chaos and just went, yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> agents of Discord. <laughs> All right. Um, as you guys arrive at, let me see if I can find something. As you guys arrive at this place, it looks all nice and shiny and stuff, but I want to let you guys know it. You guys got to keep in mind that it's still a kind of a creepy environment. So, this is what the home that looks like as you're approaching it. All gray, dead trees surrounding the back of it. Maybe we'll get locked up again. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> possibility. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> All right. So, how are you guys approaching this place? Cautiously. Sure. Uh, let me check some. <laughs> So if I can He's really enjoying that paper carton. He loves paper carton. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I can. Productive we are. Wait, where, where is everyone? <laughs> They're at the outside the gates of the mansion here. But I need Wait. to... I got the... lost. They're oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I see it. I see it. Yeah. I see it. Ooh. Sophia's house is surprisingly. So you got this is not a new building to you, but you guys were just yeah. Eh, let's not. We don't want to get locked up again. Uh, traumatic stress. All right. Um. See. All right, so. Oh, wait, I need to do something. Ah! Um, life is hard. Can I get um, Eros to make a wisdom saving throw, please? Wisdom, okay. Yeah. Wisdom. Perfect. Terrible, ma'am. <laughs> All right. So let me see. <clears throat> I can. Hey, baby. I love you. All right. Music. Rain. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. It's actually kind of strange as you approach the house, not immediately on top of you, but with a still, like, not clear, but overcast sky, in the distance 
far away from you, you hear rolling thunder. <laughs> Not exactly where you are, obviously, but like a couple miles away in the distance over the plains, you see a bit of rolling thunder. See? Anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to incorporate the music in there since we had it now. <laughs> But it's true, it hasn't rained for a while. So, now there's rain again. <laughs> yes. Rain is good for the soul anyway. Alright, so, using my image that I sent you guys, you guys have an idea of what the boating looks like. So if you wanted to use that to your advantage, you may. Uh, there's like the stone staircase at the bottom. It kind of has multiple floors and like a tower in the middle many many windows uh, on the ground floor and like places for you to actually kind of get up higher if you wanted to from the outside uh, and then there's the front door down there let me see if I can pull out my I'm book. just I'm like flying a little bit above them how about before we start this section we're gonna do a short break get some food some snacks and water and i'm gonna use the restroom uh. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 It is me. I am the Swedish. I say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah or yes, but I say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See. I see. <laughs> what you <did> see? <laughs> yes. Yes. I yes, Ocean. I see, see. Eh, uh, oui, oui. Haha, <laughs> oui, oui, baguette. Eh, <laughs> oui, <laughs> Yes, yes, baguette. Eh, uh, yes. Anyways, uh, we're sim? back. Eh, uh, sim? Okay, anyways. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> sim, what you did there. Alright. What, what, what is that supposed to be? A really bad Mario accent. Not Italian, a uh -huh. really bad Mario accent. Not Italian, just Mario. Yup. If my accent's bad, I'm not trying to be racist. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, I guess a culturist, not really race, so... Huh. Anyway. With the... Yes, with this, this is D&D. Yep. With this distant rolling thunder, and a very faint distant muted flash of lightning in the background over the top of this tower miles in the background what are you guys doing <clears throat> knock on the door sure let's open the door 
Um, this is going to be theater of the mind because they don't have a map for it, but that should be fine. Okay. Um, and as you knock on the door, it kind of echoes throughout the mansion. And let me do something here. I gotta open up. <laughs> Oh yeah, they don't have a, they don't have one. All right. Um, let me see. Is there anything inside? That's that's what I'm checking right now. Uh, no, you don't. But with a knock, you um hear nothing. There's no changes in anything. Um, this this weary mansion uh, squats behind this iron fence, which you've already passed through. Um, weeds choke the ground and press with menace upon the house. Walls covered in vines and growth. Uh, and many of these plants have been trampled down like, to make a plant, you, like a path. You know how there's, like, if you go over the same choked area of weeds, which you guys followed the path to get here. I mean, it's been kind of stomped over and over again. It's basically the equivalent of weed killing on the way over. Um, okay. Um, heavy claw markings have stripped the once beautiful finish of walls. And great black marks tell of fires that have assailed the, the mansion. And do you just notice this because as you're approaching, you actually see these scratch across the wall and onto one of the, the right door, like, because this is a double door entrance that you're knocking on. Um, not a sh pane or shard of glass stands in any of the windows. All the windows are barred with planks. Each one of them marked with stains of an e evil omen. In other words, there's like some kind of s scratching or something on there. Like, fuck, I'm. Yeah. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Daughter? Mm -hmm. Burgomaster person? Can you see the but just Arena. Can you see the right there? Uh Yeah. Okay. We, we know what you, we know what you got, but we don't know what it was for. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's what it should be. It's just Yeah, it's just a bunch of question marks. Exactly. But you got a 21 and a 24, so congrats. Yeah. <laughs> you got a nat 20 twice. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm gonna... FS this real quick. Uh, let's... As you guys are saying... Irina, what else are you saying along the lines there? What else do you uh, about into this empty house? We're, we're here to discuss escorting you to the city. Uh, we got your name from Kira at the tavern. We heard you're supposed to become a member of the church. I'm also Which very religious. Fun, yes, fun. Can I get you Ooh, guys churches, to make... Churches are always fun. Can I get you guys, all three of you, to make a uh, persuasion check? <laughs> For what? Uh, to persuade her that she's <laughs> hesitant. Does she not believe us? She's had... Yeah, well, you don't know. 
You don't know you don't know that she's there. You just were told that she would be here. Um And Gri, were you the one that said that Kira sent you or was that Eris? Wait, what? What? Who, who who said it was uh Kira that sent you guys? Oh I Eris. did. Yeah, that was me. I just said it was fun, <laughs> and I'm the one who rolled the highest. So really, she she will believe that it's fun. <laughs> All right. Um. So even with here, let me let me. Sh you hear kind of like on the ledge above you. Uh, on one of the, the places there, you actually see. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, a woman dressed in like really shiny and elegant armor, like definitely a wealthy armor set. But you see, are you the person we're looking for? Oh, she seems like she seems like she can handle herself. Oh, she can. Uh. But can she, she she definitely looks like she can handle herself. But if you're somebody of interest, traveling by yourself. As a woman, let's be honest, there's some people that aren't the kindest. Even if you can't handle yourself. Um, and the road is not necessarily as safe these, as you would imagine it would be. I'm gonna put some of these in camp in the NPC uh, channel. Sure, so here's a better image of that because I had the white part background cut out. She has black hair in one and brown hair in the other. That's fine. She's got <laughs> she's got dark brown hair, according to the official thing. This is the official image that I just snipped from the. That's her official. So she's got like. Uh. She's got kind of like Pacific Islander skin tone. She's not white. She's got like darker skin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. Like a dark, dark tan. Yeah. And um, dark brown, long hair, and really elegant, shiny, metallic, embroidered, like engraved armor. Nice. A really long sword and like red highlights. For clock, and she's the daughter of the. She's, she's the daughter of the burgomaster, right? Uh, she responded to Arena. So wow! Yes, I believe you were looking for me, and yes, Kira would have sent me for sure. That is that is quite the truth. Yes. And you, so you you want to join the church? I am more. On the, I guess, on that path, this is just where my parents wish me to go. And for now, that's where I shall be, um, even though he died not too long ago. So at this point, I'm going to try and, try and keep his wishes in mind for at least a while. So for now, I shall be going to the church, yes. Cool. That's cool. Um... <laughs> so she actually um jumps 20 feet down and lands Ooh. on her feet and takes a bit of an impact but she remains stable on her feet and just like kind of 
tilts her head to the side and stretches her neck as she continues to sheath her sword and uh, size you guys up and realize, all right, you guys are decent people for the most part. Chaotic, yes, but good, good-hearted at least, from what she was able to read. Otherwise, she would have stayed up there. All right. So, what's the plan then? So, I guess now we need to. I guess I think now the plan is to find supplies. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, one would assume so. Or don't... pay for the horses, or play for the horse. Uh, there is a horse, yes, yes. Uh, I believe that that's in the steep. From my information. Okay. I'm sure there are other places that could provide us with mounts, but, uh, maybe my information is gone by this point. Maybe it's not as, as reliable as I once had thought. I've been, uh... Mm-hmm. Defending my home here, just wanting to stay safe. As you can see, there's minions of Strahd who have tried to down me in my sleep. So, not the most enjoyable of nights recently. Over the past few weeks, that's... to be honest. Oh no. Well, that's terrible. Yeah. Oh, I hope it doesn't that... happen consistently. Oy. I hope that you can be safer with other capable people like yourself. Sure, sure. Of around course. you. I, I would imagine, yeah. but even though I fought off many a creature over those nights, it's still by yourself it's a lot more difficult than with a crew. So I'm I was weary to travel on my own. Be assured I'll... that I will protect you with my life. I for money. There it is. <laughs> but also because I respect you, friend. Uh, that 24 was insight to read everybody's intentions. Basic intentions. Hey. And she likes harming, us. Harming her was not in any of your intentions, so she felt comfortable coming down. How kind. And yeah, so... Traveling, rations, speed. How what's what's our what's our game plan then? For I know it's a few months travel to get to this other place. With maybe one stop in the way? But what's um, what's the From my understanding there was um this uh there is a stable nearby that we that we could purchase a we could purchase a mount for we have two other traveling companions with us so we're going to um okay all right find some other way to to carry them as well i assume through this um cart you spoke of probably yeah we should if we if we could bring a cart full of supplies that would definitely make a two-month trip go easier. So, I believe Sophia said that she escorted a cart of stuff here. And then you, too. You got... Where's we your... Where's... Where's, uh, where's, we where's your guys' cart? Oh, you guys sold it. Stable. We, we put it in the stable. We, we also had rations in there as well. Did we? I thought we finished all our rations. We had, um... Uh, we had like a small like um thing of um ve- vegetables in there. I assume that the farmers ate it though. Probably, I mean, probably. used it for their own. They they probably used it for the food of their for the air animals probably. Yeah, they used it for themselves and the animals, the potatoes and carrots and all that. They they used that stuff. Yeah. So, I I see, um, you guys look decently capable. Really am a fan of that heavy crossbow that 
That makes me happy. Are you a hunter? A big game hunter, then? You tall red creature. Uh, I do not- I do not understand your words, but sure, yes. You- are you- are you not a big game hunter? Big game hunter, I do not know what that is, I do not hunt. Well, you kill your... things for fun. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense for her, then. Wait, what? <laughs> do you kill things for fun? Oh, I do not. I just do things for fun, in general. Okay. <laughs> I was just pointing out your large, uh, heavy crossbow mm -hmm. that ah. was of interest and intrigue. I was in the military for a bit, but again, fun. Ah. Besides that, I just do whatever. Well, by all means, then. So, I can... I mean, it might be nice to... Not be bothered with nocturnal peril, but I've I've tried to remain away from the center of town as to not bring upon my curse to others. Or my I don't know why Strahd has such an interest in me, but um, I'd rather not bring it upon. You guys are welcome to stay the night here if you wish, but. Or, or wherever, but I don't, I don't, I don't feel like going to the stable. Stable. I, I could go with you guys to the stable, but when when nighttime hits, it might be best for me to not be in the center of the village. I tend to have we to rest during probably. the day. We usually prefer travel in the daytime. So. Okay, well, I'll have to adjust my sleep schedule then, but with other people around, I'm sure I'll be able to sleep more comfortably during the night. Yeah, we also take turns. Oh, okay. well, yeah. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. That's that's a very wise and smart idea. I'm fully on board with this. We are very smart, in general. I don't get that from you, but I I, <laughs> I, I, I guess that's that might be something that you have. <laughs> I get that yeah, from the no other worries. I, I take no offense. You. Okay, good. <laughs> my, my friends here are very smart. Yes, I do get that I, from I'm them. just very strong. Yes, there it is. That seems like more accurate assumptions. <laughs> Alright. So, shall we go over to the uh, stable and try and procure ourselves some... Animals for, be it meat or transport, and perhaps procure our cart as well. And if unless you have other plans, by all means, if you guys travel light, we can travel light. If you would like to travel with resources and vehicles and other means, by all means, let's let's travel your way. We should probably. Oh, oh, you were going to go ahead. Oh, I was, I was going to say, we usually travel light because we're some broke-ass bitches. Not, not by choice. Yes, yes, I get, I get that. <laughs> um, unfortunately, my monetary value is... Not something I'm willing to distribute at the moment. I don't have, you know, I don't want to just give away my money for no reason. So I will keep what I have unless it's necessary. But uh, it is going to help us get there, so I guess I can contribute some. Um, cool. <laughs> cool indeed, big brains. Cool indeed. <laughs> I love her. She's the best. She's, she's definitely a warrior. That's that's for sure. <laughs> she's or my best friend now. She at least has the <laughs> attitude of a warrior. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry. I giggled because the cat out of nowhere just bit the top of my foot. <laughs> Anyways. Yes. Um, shall we head that direction then? Purchase. We're gonna purchase the mount, right? Yeah, we should get. Yeah, some She's, horses. This is uh, this is her token. Part and <laughs> okay, cool. It's a good token. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting what you were gonna say. No, I was saying uh, we need to get some horses. Uh. I guess we still have a cart and whatever we can put in it. Mm -hmm. Sophia still Maybe has a cart. Maybe we could we could use that to carry people. True. Because like um we don't really ha there's only because from what it's been implied there's only one horse. Um, it'll take another five-ish minutes to get over there. So by about like five thirty p.m. You guys are at the, the stable here. And uh, you see that there is indeed just a horse. There's like three sheep, a horse, and a goat here. Yeah, says. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Somebody's horsing around. I make, I make myself laugh. Well. <laughs> 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 it's okay, me too. <laughs> So, yes. Um, I'm going to... Unless you have any quarrels, I'll be moving you guys over to the stables there. Let's you. go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, so there wow, is look a, at us. There is a horse here. Let's see. Start shout hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Can you hear us? Do you you hear like this some the shambling from a couple chairs and inside, uh, and as, as the door opens, you see like a dinner table with like some stew or something on the table and the husband and wife in there, but the uh, the wife opens the door. Hello, how? How, how may I help? Oh. <laughs> of course, Kitty. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes? What's... Um, what's... Uh, uh, sorry to disturb you, but no, 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 we no, would, fine. um... Like, oh, uh, we would... We were perhaps traveling out of town soon. Mm -hmm. So we were wondering perhaps if we could rent one of your horse your horse okay um let me see here um what were you hoping to offer here i see mm, let me check here i have i have a uh, draft horse and some very basic saddle and like brittle, but it, it should be able to carry a bit. I don't know how much it will be able to really carry, but uh, it should it should be good. Um, you look over the horse. Can I get you guys uh, to make a medicine check? We. Oui. Yeah. Uh, whoever answered the door. Or sorry, ah. whoever- yeah, whoever answered the door. Was that Ava? Yeah, I think that was- that was- Okay, so the horse- the horse looks like it's actually not amazingly healthy, but not malnourished. It's been taken care of for what they can afford to take care of it. It looks healthy enough. Uh, and it's- it's- a good, decent riding horse. Um, right now, it actually looks like it's mounted up. 
with these here. This is what the horse looks like at the moment. It's got these kind of like tassel y things and a few pockets on the side. Nice. Uh, so if it's only the one horse, I would recommend it. that we use the horse to pull the cart and the rest of us walk. Oh, I, no, did I, I lose that you? Would you? A, I believe oh. that would be a good idea. In a, arena talking. <laughs> We're strong. We can we can manage ourselves after all. Um, it would be best to not have to carry as much, put as much food and stuff, or bags and stuff like that to loosen our backs, and then we we would carry our stuff. Sorry, go ahead. Sounds all right. Um, how much does the horse? Is the horse going to um riding cost horse and with the saddle? Ah, uh, let's see. I mean, we use this for. Hmm, we use this for our stuff here, but um, I think we should be able to swing it for like twenty gold. Uh, and Sophie, Sophie is here with you. At this point, she saw you guys out the window passing, and then as you guys came back, she went with you. We was still uh, passed out on the ground. Cool. Uh, and <laughs> Sophia's got 18 gold on her. And she's willing to help contribute most of that for the, the horse. Whatever you guys can't afford, she'll help pay for it. Uh, she has no reason to doubt you, so if you lie about how much you have, and want to just basically whatever you want to donate to help, she'll pay whatever's left. A good amount of money. So I, I have four gold. I'm gonna. Uh, I go. Yeah. Icky has been half of it. Icky was paid well, like on his like things for the the church. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that would be before you came here, though, right? Or was that... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been before I came here. Like, he was, like, um, working in his, like, town, and he did get, like, go on, like, some... a few missions and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, of course. Because, like, because, of course, because, of course, if you're gonna... a lot of nearby towns and everything are, of course, gonna want aerial support or something, scouting stuff. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you're definitely able to have made quite a bit of money as a defensive or scout. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. He's just, okay, so he's just gonna take out, like, ten more, twenty more gold pieces and just Pay for put it. them on. <laughs> yeah, he's paying in full. I mean, he, yeah, he's just paying in full. Oh, boy. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, by all means, I'm sure we can provide, acquire a couple more um, goats or something somewhere to be able to manage our own basic moving needs. Um, so yes, yes, by all means. And also make, and also like, make sure to like, like making um, them rich too, by the way, the 20 gold. Yeah. He also tries to make sure that like, he also gets like stuff to care for the horse as well. Uh, of I, course, of course, it's because you paid out in full. Without trying to debate, they're gonna throw in probably like hmm, a few pounds of horse food and stuff like that. So like two weeks of horse food. And like uh, I also okay, and just like a horse pick as well, like and stuff like to groom the horse and stuff like that. Ah, uh, yeah, they'll they'll give you the the stuff. It's like you're going to a like an adoption agency to pick up a cat. Sometimes they'll give you like. A cat carrier and like stuff to actually take care of them, you know, that they were using. So yeah. they provide nah. you the stuff to care for the horse as well. I've never had to use this before, but I know that they're used for something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I'm gonna add. Uh, you can. Everybody can add riding horse to their extras. 
as a um, just miscellaneous. Just so that way everybody has the riding horse stats in case for some reason you're the one taking care Got of it, it or something like that. Because the party base, I mean, it's right now it's Icky's horse. Right, but like just so everybody has the stats because they basically, Icky just paid for it outright. This is their Icky's horse. So, like, I you just add it to like to your extras. Does Icky have like claws, like bird claws? Yeah, bird talons on my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think the horse will appreciate that. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> ride on top of him. But, no, like, no, yeah, just so that we all have uh, yeah, information yeah. for it. No, yeah, I just imagine. But there's only one horse. Oh. Yeah, I just imagine a giant bird riding a horse. <laughs> Well, she can hold on to the saddle, like grip the saddle, like a like a falconing glove. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are doing pretty well, honestly, at this point. Um, mm -hmm. So yes, uh, you guys have the the feed. Uh, Sophia, I guess, would not have brought the cart with her. So you guys, you guys all have to carry like four pounds of food to get back. Each, each, all four of you. So I get sixteen to eighteen-ish pounds. Two weeks of food for the hook, of course. Um, to back to Sophia's house before you guys head out in the morning. But yes. You guys have food, horse, stuff to care for the horse, um, the cart, the one being escorted. I think that's what you guys need, unless you guys have other things that you wanted to try and do before you left. I just, I kind of just want to go back to my um, nest thing, because you know how like, um, because Icky just wants to collect all of the stuff that he put into his nest. Sure. And everything. I mean, we okay. still, it's like 5.45 ish p.m. right now. You still have five hours before most people will go to bed. You know? Like, you guys have time to do what you want to over the night to make sure you guys are ready for tomorrow. Um, let's see. Is there anything that Eros would want to do at this point? Once once you've carried the the feed and the horse helps carry the feed and horse stuff back to Sophia's place. Right. Uh, got our car. Actually, loaded wait, you, you, you guys, you guys, could, um... you guys could probably have said, "Hey, can we just leave our car here and stuff." I'll leave the food, the the horse feed here instead of having to. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, you can drop your cart off here for the afternoon, and then since I know you guys are heading out, we'll just lock up, like board up the uh, place so people can't come in. Okay. So they like put the the wooden like hinged flap that they use to feed, like the they they have like a vertical horse like a horizontal window door above waist height. So they can't just hop out that they use oh, cool. to sometimes to toss food in there. So they close that up and then they lock <laughs> the little side door. And they actually have a door directly from their house into the stable yard. Like their backyard is the stable. Uh, but yeah, so they, they close everything up after you drop off the... Um, the cart. And so you guys are free to carry about your afternoon and night. I may have interrupted Eros at this point and not really sure what you were going to say. So I'm going to go around one at a time <laughs> and let people talk about what they want to do for the night, unless you guys wanted to stay as a group. Uh... But as people have homes here, or at least Icky has a home here, I'm assuming. 
some people are going to split up and get ready for their morning. So, Edos, is there anything that you would like to do after making sure that all the cart is packed with whatever you wanted to bring? Um... At this... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. I'll, I'll do... No, I, I'm just thinking, yeah, uh, I'm just thinking, no, I, I probably... I'd just be getting everything ready for the trip. I don't have any... We haven't been actually in the town all that long. Uh, it's not like I have other things, loose ends, that I have in town. So, nope, just getting ready to go. Okay. Making your peace with the fact that you're going to be on the road for a while? Yup. Gotcha. Um, Icky, did you what? want to fight something? <laughs> This is, I was um, uh, I was just looking at the horse and I saw that the horse had like a um, roll initiative. So oh yeah, riding horse. I didn't catch that it was riding horse that just popped up under your name. So that's why I was like, did you want it? Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I mean that will be actually involved when stuff happens because horses sometimes get scared. So that's why people have access to the character sets. Makes that makes a lot of sense. People might uh, have to deal with maybe losing a horse in the middle of the trip. That is we'll true, but I could probably catch up to him. Just saying. True, but I by losing a horse, I'm in. It could die. Oh yeah, that would depending be so on, sad. Depending on what you meet across along the way, um, but yes, Eros, since you have been in the process of getting your mind and rest where are you where are you spending the night um somebody's house i guess uh i guess icky's house or back to alice's or uh sophia's house i mean you, yeah sophia's is a good place to go yeah so Right. Uh, is there is there any sort of mail delivery service? Uh, uh, like if I want to, no. There's there's not a delivery service. Usually you can try and find um, the way that you used to deal with your delivery services was training birds and dogs to deliver stuff. If it was a local place in your town, it would be a dog delivery. With all the dogs, the the war dogs that you trained as mounts, they would have been delivered mm. by by puppy puppy mill. But if, Yay. It was a, but if it was a long distance, it would have been like a falcon, a hawk, or a raven that was actually delivering messages that you guys trained. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. So no. you don't know if that's a thing here, but there's. From what you've heard, there's not really a uh, mailed service. Okay, then nothing I need to do. I didn't catch that last part. Oh, I said then there's nothing I need to do or even want to do here. Okay. Uh, Icky. Since you, yeah. we, we carried on from the conversation from just naturally on to you. We'll go to you next. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, gonna go... Hold, actually, hold on. As you guys are leaving, um, Irina starts to head back to her home, telling you that she'll meet you guys at the tavern in the morning, but it's not safe for her to be in town during the day. Or during the night. Thanks. So, she's gonna leave... Gris, wonderful drawing. Oh, oh. And it's gonna start to walk off to her home. Damn. Did anybody want to join her? She said she'd meet you guys at the tavern in the morning. 
Alright, she's gone. We'll go to our humble abode. Yes. Uh, Irina is gone. But actually, she walks with um, Eros down there. Since their houses are right next to each other. But she Better. goes to the mansion instead of Sophia's house. Um, Eros, can I move you back down to Sophia's house? I will allow it. Yay! <laughs> Permission. Consent. Alright. <laughs> Icky. What you got? I'm gonna fly immediately to my, um, nest, and I'm gonna pack up, like, all of the, like, stolen pretty things that I found. Mm -hmm. Found along the way. <laughs> like, sure. that I had put in, that I had put in my, like, that I put in my, that I had put in my nest, like, some of them is just, like, pretty rocks. Yeah, yeah. But it's stuff, oh, that's, that's, that's nice, that's, that's pleasing to look at, and so I'm gonna add it to my collection. Yeah. Yeah. I got you there. Some, some of it's just, like, um, I don't think any is like, really too valuable, considering the things that he's, like, um, it's collected, but it's you. just pretty. Yeah, it's valuable to you. Yeah. Hmm. We, yeah, it's kind of, it, kind of, I guess. I mean, because, like, yeah. Yeah. Everybody has For the most part, yeah. So you just yeah, so he just he's just putting that back into his like um his bags and stuff like that. Sounds good. Besides wrapping up your collection and making sure you don't leave anything pretty behind, is there anything that you wanted to do over the course of the night besides trying to get a good night's sleep? At the top of your nest on the on the precipice of the, the rooftop here? Or within, uh, within an overhang of one of the homes, I guess, because you probably wouldn't be on the roof. Mm. Yeah, I yeah, assume between, like, a little outcropping to have, like, some a little bit of, like... There's, there's like, these uh, buildings... Cover. This building has, like, that um, covered balcony, like, in the other house that you guys got locked into. So there's a covered balcony that you could be on. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, that's where his, like, um little nest was and stuff like that the door to the inside is closed and and it's actually locked so you actually just have your little nest in the corner of that area there of the overhang yeah so then he's just gonna settle down and go to sleep and take okay sounds good Kri, what are you doing yeah you doing yay my goodness yes Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at us. Are you going to <laughs> Icky's house, Sophia's house? Nobody I'm going went, to nobody our went, house. Nobody went to your house. <laughs> well, I'm going to my house, even though, even though Iris abandoned me. Sure. Going to my house, and I'm gonna sleep there. Okay. Icky's just like, hey, neighbor. <laughs> so, do you want to come sleep here? Um. Sleepover. Sure. sure. I. Yeah. I think he he kind of feels bad because like she seems lonely. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> she's. I am you know, not lonely. She, she's lonely, but am... she is pretending not to be because she's a strong woman. Mean. <laughs> I say when I'm lonely. <laughs> sure. Words. You know yeah. what? I, I, I don't want you to come over anymore. No sleepover. <laughs> well, he didn't say that out loud. No, that was me. You have no reason to change. Fine. Yay! Come on, if you want. If you want, we can have a sleepover. This house is very big. It's been so long since I had a sleepover. I know what <laughs> By, by this time, all your stuff is actually already bundled up. So you're. It's okay, he was lonely of... too. There you go. Yeah, so you're able to kind of like a stork carrying a baby. That kind of imagery. You, you fly down and carry your sack of possessions of your pretty objects with you. 
and kind of land on the window sill of the the home there on the second floor and go go visit the uh, Eros, or sorry, not Eros, Gri. I'm gonna show her my collection of pretty rocks. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, pretty rocks. Pretty rocks. 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 Can you roll me? A, <laughs> can you roll me a d hundred, Icky? Yeah. And like what I just said like is that. what we call rock music. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a rock fact. Woo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they're just a bunch of pretty rocks. Yay! Maybe a cool-looking leaf or something. Those rocks are cool, my dude. Some ribbons. Oh my god. I am impressed by your collection. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's a rock fact. <laughs> Rock some necklaces. <laughs> yeah. And who knows? Yes, that's that's true. And you know what else? Three. Yeah. You rock. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my microphone glitched, but yes. Yeah. I said you rock. Ah. Uh. Hey. All right. Here we go. Um, so, Arena walks with Eros down to Sophia's house and then branches off. Um, the sound of rain and thunder getting stronger over the course of the night. Um, can I get everybody to roll a constitution save with advantage? Everyone? Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oui. Situation save. Yes. Advantage, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yay, okay. Doing great, Kitty. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm having fun. Good. Yeah. That's, that's how it should be. Uh, let me see if I can... <laughs> yeah, that's right, you tell him. Uh, let's open that up. And then we're going to do... Um... I'm just doing stuff here. Give me a second. So, you 
guys have a nice, long, restful night. Nothing at all is happening in the background. Um, and... I think, I don't know how you guys feel, but we might stop here and maybe give Alice and Willow a chance before next week, before you guys actually head off to maybe come back. Yeah. Since we would be leaving the town. I mean, or we could go hunting, but... True. Uh, maybe. Maybe, yeah. But then again, we could also do that on the road, too. Yeah. The... Yeah, probably. You, to, be honest, to be honest, to be honest Hunt. with you, you're more likely to yeah, yeah, like like Kendall was saying, you're more likely to actually find stuff to go hunting with, not right next to a town. Yeah. yeah. So, you also have seen those packs of wolves that were going towards the town a long time ago. So you know that there are things out there to hunt, for sure. Yeah, man. So, t as a gentle reminder for you guys, right? Let's let's pull this up here. Um, that one. See how large that whole map is? Yeah, man. Wait, That's I can't how... see. <laughs> it's because wow. it's all. It's all black except for that very- if you zoom all the way out. Yeah. You guys have barely even tapped to the whole map. You guys have probably gotten like a tenth, maybe less than that, of the entire map. And we've been here for four months. Yup. No, that, that's how long we've been playing. I don't think it's been that long yeah, in no, I think, game. I think, uh, yeah, she, yeah. I think she meant in our time as players. We've been. Yeah, we'll be, we've been here for like a week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And in that period of time, like five people have died <laughs> of our group. <laughs> I just hope. What do you hope? Charge is okay. <laughs> what about charge? Sorry, it was cutting out a little bit. I was, I just hope our, us, the person we're escorting is okay. That's a good I question. love yeah. Irina. I love Irina. She, she's my, she's my sister now. I mean, you guys she heard her saying multiple times it's best for her not to go out into town at night by herself. Probably a good idea that we we probably should have gone to her house with her. She also yes. mentioned she also mentioned um, her curse. She said curse once. Um, Strahd was focusing her. But yeah, we'll see what happens next week. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Um, let me see here. We keep making mistake after mistake. <laughs> I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah. that, that's the indie, though, you know? Yeah. We're learning. We're learning. Exactly. Uh, let me see here. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Let me see what this is.
Perfect. Okay, cool. Right? How do you guys feel about what do you what do you guys want to do? You guys want to stop here, or do you want to keep going? Um, this seems like this seems like a pretty good place to stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. we might have more players. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'd love to stop. <laughs> okay. Because if even like one a good person point. is watching, they have to find out next week to find out whatever happened to Irina. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> if there's anyone watching. <laughs> no, there won't be. But there's people yeah. who watch the YouTube videos. Oh, cool. I think we have an average of like four or five people watching, which could be you guys. It could be Danny. It could be, you know. But there's one of them. At least one of them is me. You you watch the videos? I literally just go on there and put a like. <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> I don't want to. I just don't. I don't want to <laughs> hear myself like speak. Oh yeah, I get that too. I I also I, get a bit uncomfortable hearing my own voice. Yeah, yeah it, it. Everyone does. It sounds so weird on recordings. Yeah 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 so yeah, like, yeah. So I'm like I put a put a like and like I'm like I added to the. Thing, people will not well are more likely to notice this now. Yeah, I mean it's it's just for us, right? We're not trying to be famous true. or anything. We're just having yeah, like, tr true. Around. And if other We're people just having, find trying it, to have a good time. If other people find it and also enjoy the wacky tales, table sailing, selling, and stuff like that, then by all means, you know, enjoy the yeah. moment that we we created as a group of of players here. Yeah. But there's so many other people also doing the exact same thing we are you know like it's just for us we're just here to have a good time so. too many competitors there's no reason <laughs> to try you know well i'll be heading off now yeah i, I had fun good i love arena yeah she's she's yeah she's i'm a excited good for her well yeah bye bye everyone i had fun Okay, night-night. Bye! Bye! Good night! Bye! Bye. Bye, Kendall. Bye, Izzy.